Hi there. This is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft Loop. There's an issue with Microsoft Loop and we are going to see how to resolve that issue. So if you don't know about Microsoft Loop, we are going to explain that also. What is Microsoft Loop and how that is going to help teams to collaborate more effectively in a modern way. We need to do some policy settings, configurations, etc. to make Microsoft Loop work as expected. If you have not done that, then the users won't be able to log into Microsoft Loop. So we are going to fix that issue in this video. So don't skip the video. Let's look into it. What is the reason behind Microsoft creating Microsoft Loop application? It is a modern collaboration tool where users will use a lot of application to get their work done. In that scenario, it is very difficult to track the different kind of projects. At the same time, as an end user, we need to shift very quickly between different projects and complete different tasks from different projects all these are going to be very hectic for users so microsoft is trying to help the end users with microsoft loop loop can transform the way you work so you can think plan and create together like never before this is one of the main goal that microsoft shared loop is basically made up of workspaces pages and components there would be different shared workspaces for each project that you work on and then there would be home page you can access all your existing workspaces from the home page and even you can create new workspace if you are joining a new project or something and you can bring everything that you need for your project together in one place that is very critical for most of the projects when you are following agile framework for all the projects and loop pages are flexible canvases where you can create you can react comment and build on each other's ideas and the notifications can be very messy sometimes we have seen it in teams there are notifications coming from left and right and microsoft claims that the loops notifications are redefined to help the team members to achieve their goals now let's look into the issue which we were discussing before and let's try to fix that. Let's fix the issue with Microsoft Loops application. Unlock Loop before you can use the app. It must be enabled in your organization by your administrator. And that is the error you get normally when you try to log into Loop and you don't have permissions to log in. So let's see how to enable the Loops application for the first first time in your organization and how to give access to specific users or all users to use the loops application then you need to go to config.office.com and log in with your admin id and then go to customization policy management and create a new policy from there and give it a name loop enablement policy etc etc and then go to scope scope is important if you are doing it in production i would say to create a custom group and assign this particular policy to a specific group of individuals rather than all users but in this lab environment i'm going to scope it to all users so all users can use the loop application but again for the production scenarios you need to use other options such as specific group etc etc now once you have decided and choose the scope then you can click on next button to continue and in the next screen what you can see is these are the policies the page name is configure settings there are more than 2000 policies and 134 security baselines etc etc so i'm going to use the search option over 
here in this particular page and going to search with loop this will help you to filter down only to loop related policies so i can see create and view loop tiles in microsoft apps that support loop create and view loops workspaces in loop and then create and view loop files in outlook these are the three policies we have at the moment and how to enable the policy click on the policy and then it will give you three options the default one is not configured i'm going to enable this policy all of these three policies once you enable it you would be able to see a configured option under status there would be a tick mark near to that okay i have enabled that and click on next to continue these are the three policies that i have configured and click next to continue now this is a review page where you can review all the configurations such as the policy name three policies are configured description of the policy is there any security baseline what is the scope click on create and click on done to finish this configuration page now the policy configuration is done let's try to log in to loop application with your corporate id and check what is happening before you can use this app it must be enabled now let's log out and log in back onto the loop application and check how we can access the loop application so i'm logging in using the sign in page loop.microsoft.com that is a website to launch this application it is basically a pwa kind of an application so i'm logging in and it is asking for the authentication etc etc now as you can see i have signed in to loops application there is no issue after creating that policy so you can see over here on the left side you can see the recent ideas getting started how to get started and welcome screen is there on the right side with all the details we are the loop team and we are excited to have you here etc etc and you can create the basic stuffs you can collaborate with other team members using loops application so now you know what is the issue and how to resolve the issue with microsoft loop how you can allow a particular set of users to log into microsoft loop for testing and then probably if this is aligned with your organizational policies and work culture probably you can try to deploy this to all the users there are a lot of things you need to look into privacy policies etc etc if you implement it in production hopefully this was helpful thank you all for watching See you around.